Hi, uh, yeah, you can see this. It's another new knife day. Uh, this is a really odd one. I have no idea what what this is going to be like at all. Mm -hmm. No idea if it's going to be worth anywhere near that, but it's it's definitely cool a cool thing to check out. So, you know, to me at least already, yeah, unless it's out of garbage, which it really might be. So uh, the selling point of this one is that the blade isn't actually steel. The blade is a uh, teravantium dendritic cobalt, I think. So you get it in a nice pouch. I do really like this, by the way. I think this is this is pretty sweet. Which um, a quick Google search suggests. Uh, I got the G10 one, by the way, because um, honestly, I think it's the best looking one, at least in the pictures. The carbon fiber really didn't do it for me, and the the titanium. You know, titanium again. So there we go. Um, yeah, bit of a shame that there's not a microfiber again. Really, uh, really ultra minor, but I don't know. Just when you're paying that, surely. So this wants to be a damn fine finish for that kind of moolah. And there you go, you've already got some uh, some rub there. I'm sure that's just going to be a normal thing. And there we go, so it's, like I said, it's um, it's not a steel alloy this one, it's a cobalt alloy. Pretty sure someone said it wasn't. Yeah, that's crazy. Oops, so it turns out that doing this left a small impact mark on the spine of this knife. Uh, you're going to see it in the rest of this video. I didn't really sort it until the end, but please do note this had nothing to do with Terrain 365's QC. It did not arrive like this. That was me slamming those magnets into it. Here is the knife after I've uh, finished the video and I just took some buffing compound and got rid of that. It was a really light impact mark and it's just as good as new. So just ignore that for the rest of the video, that little mark there. That is. That's, that's not really going to yield any. Um any significant benefits but so the idea with this one a quick google search suggests and i'm hoping to find this out is that while this doesn't maintain a super smooth edge it's far more resistant to oxidization and um it holds a toothy edge for a long long time like this would make an excellent uh, pocket knife for someone that's works in a lot of wet environments kind of thing I assume yeah I mean it seems alright um, I honestly like I said I have no idea what to expect with this stuff I've I didn't hear about this stuff until uh, I saw this posted on uh, Heine's Insta so I do really like that marine grey G10 though that's a really pleasant colour that is. It's um I don't have anything anything else quite like that at the moment. At the blade length quick, because it does look. So first off, no problems on the cutting edge. 
However, very close to three inch. Looks just about legal to me, but very close. It's very smooth back here. And then as you come closer, you can start to catch it. If I can actually just wipe all that off. And then I can actually show you without my mucky fingerprints on there. There you go, you can sort of see the edge there. Look, it just gets worse and worse. And then it, gets, it sort of disappears as you go back. However, in the closed position, it's actually almost flawless. Look at that. Much better in the closed. There is a little bit in the middle there, though. Um, so, you know I'm going to do it. Let's just uh, hope I don't strip anything. T6. Oh, there you go. Oh, so they are numbered. Actually, they're probably not numbered. Um, I couldn't help but take this apart fully after the video ends while it was rendering. And um, had to stop it rendering because the other side has an 81 on it, as you can see on screen now. So it's probably just part numbers to make it easier to distinguish left and right sides. There we go. Okay, so that's what the inside looks like. You get a nice big interface for the uh, the spring there. I'm not taking that off because this seems like quite a strong spring and that's going to be hell to get put back together, I reckon. Uh, you get phosphor bronze washers. You do get a captive pivot. You can see the little D cut out just there. And you stop pin. Um, top, top marks for that. Uh, I don't know if that's titanium. It's um, it's not magnetic. Whatever it is. Then again, it could just be more cobalt. It could be uh, aluminium. Doesn't feel like aluminium though. Oh, and what didn't he check? Didn't f check centering and blade play before I did it. Although I do actually recall the centering was pretty bang on, so. And still is. Look at that. That's definitely a little bit too tight now. Just out there. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, absolutely solid, really well built. So um, this seems like it seems like it's really well put together at least. So yeah, you get the uh, logo this side, blade steel there. Yeah, I do really like the um, I really like this. Good grief! Look at that! Look how far that goes before it hangs. And then, so just as you're using it, yeah, sharpening choil, um, yeah, I mean, initial impressions, I, I've got no problem with this. That appears to be quite an exotic alloy, or I've been had, and it's out of bollocks, so um, <laughs> who knows? Uh, hopefully I'm going to find out. But there you go. Thank you very much. Cheers.